All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kargodash. The honors the apostles and others, the great millstone, teaching us when we stand truth according to the Bible rule well, and peace and blessings so flood to the nation of Israel, today through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Going to the Lord's willing and edifying lesson on uh, seeking Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai as a mercy. You know, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. You know, now is the time to seek the Lord's mercy, you know, while His mercy is still uh, easily accessible. You know, what's going to cause you uh, to fall into the mercy of Yahweh by Shema uh you uh, getting this wisdom? You see, let's, let's prove that. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7. Uh, verse 28, for, for the Most High loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. You know, so wisdom has to dwell with you where? In your mind. You see, and through wisdom dwelling with you in your mind, you will do things that are well-pleasing to the God of the Bible. You think, you do things that are pleasing to Yahweh by Shema Shai, and this will cause the Lord uh, love to bestow upon you. You see, and his love and his mercy, you know, go hand in hand because he, he, the Lord reserves wrath for his enemies. You know, his enemies are obviously the ones who he hates. You see, and those who are hate, who hate him via their actions, through their actions that they uh, uh, commit down here upon earth, committing sin. This is um, wisdom of Solomon one and four for into a malicious soul. Wisdom shall not enter. A malicious soul is someone who has an ill intent. You know, they're, they're intent on getting the, the knowledge of the scriptures is for fame, for fortune, for uh, some type of notori no, 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 notoriety on this side. You know, to be uh, notarized. You see, for people to see you and be like, oh, that's, that's, that's the bishop deacon. You know, uh, blah, 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 this church. You see, it says, into a poor, into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. So the body that is subject unto sin, you know, uh, is, a, is a body that's not keeping the law slash commandments of the Bible, because that's what love is according to the Bible, you keeping uh, the Heavenly Father's commandments. You see, it says, for the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee the seat. And and and, fuck you. and remove from thoughts that are without understanding, and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. So, if you are committing acts of unrighteousness, the spirit of wisdom is going to be taken from you. You see. So now is the time, you know, to seek the Lord's uh, mercy and love. This is um. Second Chronicles 36 and 15, and the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, God of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers. So the Lord, when he went to speak to our uh, ancient forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and our other, uh, uh, um, and other men of Israel of old, you see, he sent his messengers, which were the servants of prophets. It says, rising up be times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. So us being out there on the highways and byways, that's the Lord ex 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 extending his compassion, his mercy, his love that he has for his people. You see, and a lot of people, you know, don't understand that. This is uh, Proverbs 27 and 5. It says, open rebuke is better than secret love. So for Yahweh by Shema Shai, uh to rebuke you, to chastise you, you know, to ridicule you so you can get right, you know, that's the Lord's mercy and his love being extended uh, to you to the highest, uh, 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 you know, to the highest degree, degree. You see, the scriptures talk about in Ezekiel, I'm going to cue it up. Why would you die, O house of Israel? You know? 
believe it's Ezekiel 18, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so let me read this one. This is uh, Revelations 3. And 3 and 19, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. So as many as Yahweh by Shema Shai loves, he rebuked and chastised. You see, so here it is, you know, that he told Ezra, thou come as far as short that thou should love my creatures more than me. You see, so the Lord, you know, is long suffering to us, we're not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. You know, but two thirds are not going to repent. Two thirds are going to constantly be rebellious. Two thirds don't want to enter into the Lord's rest. So he's not, he's going to give them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. It says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous therefore and repent. So it's about showing your zeal, your passion towards the Alba Shema Shah and you wanting to serve him and making the proper changes that are needful for you to receive the salvation of our Lord. You know, that's that's what it's all about. You know, because we all need uh, the Lord's mercy. You see? Um, Ezekiel 18 and, and um, 30, what goes on this? Therefore I would judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways. The Lord God... Uh, saith the Lord God, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions so iniquity, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. So the Lord wants us to repent so iniquity doesn't be our ruin, doesn't ruin us, cause us to be put to death in the wage of the sin is death. And all those that hate Yah by Shemalashah, they love death, you see? Because the Lord is offering our people life right now. Cast away from you all transgressions whereby ye have transgressed and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Be born again. That's what the Lord is asking our people to do. You know, this is the love and compassion that's being shown forth towards Israel, you know, for this allotted time. For them to uh, come back, repent, you know, seek the mercies of Yahweh by Shema Shai. But a lot of our people, the scriptures talk about how those that trust in the Lord, they're going to understand the truth, you know, and through the truth, you will be sanctified. So a lot of our people, you know, they hear this God, they hear the gospel, they hear the doctrine of the Alabi Shemalashai, they hear that scourges are being sent for amendment, you know, uh, uh, but they are not, uh, uh, they will not all uh, turn from their wickedness. You see, because they trust in this system. They trust in oppression. You see, cast away from all your transgressions whereby ye have transgressed and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that die of saith the Lord Yahweh. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. So right now, you know, a level of compassion and mercy is going forth, you know, Every day that uh, uh, the men of the Lord are out there in the highways and byways, every day these videos are accessible for you to watch. That's the Lord extending his hand in mercy, but as his, as his mercy is great, so is his correction. As his uh, mercy is great, so is his indignation. And his indignation uh, rests upon the sinners of his people. So, you know, take this time seriously, uh, uh, turn back. You know, and make no turn to turn to Yahweh by Shemel Shai and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou should be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And the day of vengeance is what's fastly approaching. You know, these are times that we're uh, uh, hastening to come, that we're fastly coming into the Lord's turning up his judgments and prophecies, you know, it's being made uh, uh, evidently clear more and more every day that we are at the end of this man's kingdom, Esau, Edom's kingdom. You see, and the doors of mercy are about to close. Shalom.